Hey guys, welcome back. As you know, we just cooked the crawfish etouffee. Now we're going to be going to the crawfish fettuccine. If you do know of any healthy Cajun recipes, these two aren't them. They're just not. There's nothing about this. If, if, if this is the healthiest thing you eat today, you have a problem. So one of the sticks of butter I bought, well one and a half sticks of butter, went into here. The other three sticks of butter, as you can tell it's empty, went in here. It sucks because now I'm out of butter. But three sticks of butter is all I need. So you want to, what you want to do over medium heat is you want to melt the butter, get it nice and melty. As you can tell, butter's melted for the most part. We're going to add the frozen ingredients and a little bit of chop, a little bit of extra chopped celery. I find that some of the frozen bags don't have enough celery, so I added some more. Add that. That's what it looks like. We're gonna give it a stir and show you what it looks like here in a minute. You want to crank up the heat a little bit to medium high, especially if you use frozen veggies like I just did. It really brings the temperature down in the uh, of the butter. So kick it back up to about medium high until it starts bubbling. Then you can drop it back down to medium just to soften the veggies. All right, and we're gonna let this soften for about for about 15 or 20 minutes on medium. There's a lot of veggies in there. We need to give them some time to get soft. But we don't want to put it too high. We don't want to brown the vegetables. We, we don't want to do that. So we just want to slowly soften them until they turn translucent. All right, guys, it's been like eight minutes now. I uh, added about a quarter of a cup, more like a half a cup of mushrooms. And I'm going to try, I'm going to add, I don't have access here to fresh parsley. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of dried parsley flakes. They will um, resaturate with water. There you go. All right, give that a stir. Let it cook the remainder of the 15, 20 minutes. For about another seven or eight minutes. All right, what we're gonna do now is lower it a little bit. It's been seven minutes. So now it's time, give it a stir. We're going to add a quarter cup flour. Once you add the flour, you want to let it cook for about five minutes, give or take a minute or two, no big deal. Um, maybe even longer, five or six minutes, something like that. You want to give it a give it time to have all the oil to incorporate the flour. Lower the heat. Let it cook for a little bit. Then we want to add. One pint of half and half. That's two cups. All right, so that's what it looks like when the roux is cooking in there for a little while. It's only gonna cook for, it's been almost about five minutes now. Measure off two cups of half and half. About like so. Make sure you get it off the bottom. Once the half and half has been added, while we were waiting, I took the liberty to cube. Look at that. That is one half a package of Velveeta cheese. I have a cube. I'm just gonna add the cubes one at a time in here. Helps them melt evenly and faster than melting a whole block of cheese at one time. And if it's too thick and the half and half didn't do quite enough, you can add a little bit more water to it. To help it melt and stay creamy. Cause you can always cook the water out. Don't add a whole bunch, cause then you'll never cook it out. But 
then pick it back up to about medium heat and stir and let that cheese melt what it looks like right now while we wait for the cheese to melt see those nice parsley flakes giving it a really good color nice contrast cheese is completely melted let's give it a quick stir all right what we want to do now is we want to add so I have like three, three, a little bit more than three pounds of crawfish. I'm going to use a little bit of water, get all the nice juices out of here. Oh yeah. All right. Get that mixed in. I'm holding off on seasoning it guys because the juice from the crawfish boil, the juice that the crawfish absorbed with the fats and everything is going to blend in with this mixture. And you know, you, you never really know how much to add. If you add seasoning before, then your crawfish gives off more seasoning and maybe too hot or too salty. So just back off on the seasoning right now. Let the crawfish cook in it for about a half an hour. So you want to let your cheese mixture with the crawfish cook for 30 minutes on a low simmer. And in a little while we're going to start our noodles. So this is a good time to kick off your noodles. Cook one, one pound of fettuccine. I got this from Walmart, but you can get it from wherever. One pound, 16 ounces of fettuccine noodles. Boil those. And it has the instructions on the back, but basically you get your water boiling, about a gallon of water. Get it boiling, add your noodles, get it back up to boiling for about 10 or 11 minutes, then cut it off, and you'll be done. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to come back whenever all that's done. And we're ready to season to taste and then throw in a casserole dish. All right, guys, so I have this cooking about 20 minutes. Got about 10 more minutes to go on this. As you can see, the cheese is melted. Everything's really coming together. Man, it just looks, it looks good right now. Um, fettuccine's done. What you wanna do is you wanna add the fettuccine and give it a good stir. Yep, then you wanna add it to a casserole dish like this. Um, then you wanna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Now you're ready to serve. You will be the hit of the party. You're welcome. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot for all your support.